It didn't exactly end in thrilling fashion, but the Texas Rangers are officially the World Series champions for 2023, defeating the Arizona Diamondbacks 5-0 in a Game 5, which will go down in history as the worst-rated World Series of all time when we look at the ratings. But if you're one of those players on the field, you probably don't care about who tuned in. All you care about is holding up that trophy. And for manager Bruce Bogey and for Corey Seager, who's likely to win the Most Valuable Player Award, by the way, will only be the second position player all time to do so. That seems to be what's likely going to happen. It's not official yet. I'm still watching as they're sitting here celebrating. But in addition to Reggie Jackson, will be the second position player in history to win multiple World Series MVPs. And again, they did it. It wasn't exactly thrilling fashion, although the game was still in reach for the Arizona Diamondbacks until the ninth inning. It was 1-0 to zero until the top of the ninth where the Texas Rangers were able to string together a couple hits, get a big home run from Simeon, and that was really that. No hope for the Diamondbacks to come back in the bottom of the ninth. The Diamondbacks had their chances. They left several runners stranded in, over the first couple innings, and to be fair, they got out a couple jams later where the Rangers probably should have scored, but they were able to keep it close until that final inning. And you can see the fact that Diamondbacks got here after going 84 and 78 in the regular season was kind of a miracle, uh, but the Rangers were able to take care of business despite having multiple injuries, despite having Adolis Garcia go out, despite Max Scherzer not being able to contribute the way they expected him to. The Rangers persevered, and the Rangers are your World Series champions for the first time in history. They were one of six teams to never win a World Series. They're now off that list officially, their first in franchise history. And it comes with Bruce Bochy at the helm. This is now his fourth World Series, his fifth appearance of all time, one with the Padres. He won the three World Series with the Giants, and now in his first year as coach for the Rangers, takes them all the way and wins the World Series. But I think really the way this World Series is going to be remembered is the fact that a lot of people probably didn't watch it. It is the worst rated World Series of all time. We know baseball struggled in recent years with ratings. Some of these World Series games almost every year for the past couple. We've had at least one game set a record low. Well, this World Series was the lowest of the low. Holy cow, those are bad numbers. World Series games one through three post worst ever TV audience ratings. And it started off bad with the worst game one we've ever seen. 9.17 million people tuned in. And then game two happened. Game two was the lowest rated World Series game ever that we've ever seen until game three. Then it broke that record. 8.13 million. Picked back up a little bit. A couple hundred thousand more viewers for game four. We'll see what happens for this game five. I don't anticipate a massive surge. I just don't think that's the case. I don't think people found these two teams compelling in addition to the fact that some people have just walked away from Major League Baseball, some because of the game or the pace of the game, and some, frankly, because of what Major League Baseball has continued to push over and over again. We know a lot of people don't like identity politics in their sports. Major League Baseball has continued to push that. We saw the controversy with the Pride Night bullshit this year. A lot of fans not happy with that. A lot of fans did not tune in. But despite it being the worst-rated World Series in history... The Texas Rangers are the ones that go home with that trophy. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.